I know you're used to and like seeing the percentage grade scheme in your final calculated grades, but if you want to use the grades integration, you know that you have to attach a letter grade scheme to that column, and now you're going to see the letter, which overwrites the percent grade scheme. I'm going to show you how to have the best of both worlds. We're going to start in grades and grades, and we're going to scroll all the way to the right hand side where we see both the final calculated grade and the final adjusted grade. In this scenario, what I'm going to recommend is that you leave your final calculated grade a percentage, but you'll change your final adjusted grade to a letter grade, and then that's the grade that you'll submit. That way, at any point, you can see both the letter in your final adjusted grade and your percent in your final calculated grade. In this scenario, I'm going to leave final calculated grade alone. I'm going to leave it with the percent grade scheme attached. Instead, I'm going to go to final adjusted grade. From the drop down arrow, I'm going to choose edit. I'll scroll down to grade scheme and I'm going to attach my grade scheme that I created earlier and choose save and close. Now, one thing to remember, final adjusted grade doesn't automatically stay up to date. You do have to go into the enter grades area and push this grade into the final adjusted grade column by clicking these arrows here on the right hand side. When finished, I'll choose save and close. One last step, I'm going to go into the gradebook settings area here at the top and under calculation options, I need to be sure under final grade released to select adjusted final grade and save. After it saves, I can click close. Now what I have is my percent in my final calculated grade, but when I'm ready to submit my midterm and final grades, I'm going to follow the instructions to submit the final adjusted grade column.